Hi there, my name is Stephanie. I'm so happy you're here today. My channel is all things motherhood as a first time mom. In this video today, I'm gonna show you how we organize our baby food as well as all the products we use during feeding time to make it simple and easy. All of the items I mentioned today will be linked in the description box down below. Okie dokie, so I think the showstopper here is definitely this three tiered rolling cart. We have a pretty small kitchen. So all of our drawers and cabinets were pretty much already at full capacity. So having just this cart here that is able to hold all of Gigi's baby things was super helpful even when we were in the beginning stages of just formula feeding. It doesn't take up that much space and it's pretty compact and rolls and I haven't tripped over it yet which is pretty impressive for me. It's just been a really helpful way to help organize everything in one place in our smaller kitchen. I also went ahead and took some like masking tape and a sharpie and I just labeled everything where I wanted it so it's easy to, if you wanted to change something around, just strip it off and put a new label on. So mom and dad are on the same page of where things need to go. I'm just gonna kind of start at the top here too. So for bottles, we're using the Avid Natural Bottles. Gigi took these first from birth, so they've been a good go-to for us. And they come apart in three simple, um, pieces so they're really easy to clean. I actually just made a great video of how to wash and sanitize your baby bottles which I'll link here up above. I really like these bottles and I'd recommend them to a new parent. We just started introducing Gianna to water as well so we have this Munchkin 360 cup. It has like a spout and it doesn't spill if you tip it upside down which is great for babies if they're throwing it on the ground constantly and it's great for babies dental development too because they're able to take sips out of a glass of water, a cup of water, compared to constantly um, learning how to drink out of a straw. And then moving on to baby food, I've been loving the Beach Nut Natural Baby Food. They come in a great variety of flavors. They actually taste pretty good and baby likes them too. I like that they come in a jar with a lid. Some of the baby food, they just have like a plastic film you throw away. But I find just baby food that has a lid in general is much easier for storage purposes. And I don't know, they're just so stinking cute. So I like the Beach Nut brand baby food and baby likes it too, so it's a win-win. This one too has a lid, it's Meyer brand, store brand, so I like it for storage purposes as well. Also having some squeeze pouches on hand. These have been fun for Gianna to try. She is getting, they were like confusing for her at first, but we are getting the hang of it. So I just have the Mott's no sugar added applesauce here, um, just made apples and water pretty much. So it's a great way to make feeding time more fun with a little pouch here. For bowls and spoons and more like utensil items, I really have been liking these just really simple, they're called like take and toss bowls. So came in a set of five with the lids from Amazon. Get them at your local grocery store, Target, wherever pretty much. They're just a great cute little size and again I do like that it comes with the lid as well so you're able to store unused baby baby food for a later time if baby's not hungry at the moment. It's just easy to keep it in the refrigerator without any spills. We also have this munchkin set of bowls here too. It comes with four and the lids as well in fun colors. In general, lids are great. <laughs> Then I have just like a little organizer in the cart as well. So in this little one, we do keep her spoons here. So we've been using, I think they're both Munchkin brands. These have been really simple, really easy. Uh, this came in a pack of five and then these came with the bowls too. Nothing fancy, but they do the trick. And then for some other items we just are constantly using in the kitchen are her baby toothbrush, just like a little rubber one and baby toothpaste too, so I'll wash her teeth, her, her teeth, her like little tooth once a day after a meal. She actually enjoys it too. She seems to like the massage and she actually gets upset when I take it away. And then a couple of little teethers too. This one is just um, a nubby elephant with uh, silicone and natural wood. And again, a nubby teether, her little banana too. These both have been really helpful for her teething with the silicone and the wood too. I noticed she just likes to chew on things with wood in general. So I thought this would be a better alternative than our furniture. And I haven't used this one much, but it's one of those mesh baby fruit sucker things. 
Um, you could put like frozen strawberries, frozen blueberries, frozen breast milk, formula, whatever you wanted. And it's just a good way to give baby food without making a huge mess. Or even just to help soothe sore gums since it's nice and cold and baby can hold it too. Sometimes feeding time can get pretty messy. And so I'll just keep like um, a detangler on hand as well as a couple brushes to help wash out her hair in between baths. So I'll just wet down her hair and I have this little comb here as well as a brush. It's just a quick and easy way to get food out of her hair in between bath times. And for the next level here, we do keep our extra formula. So we've been using the regular Enfamil Infant from the beginning. She takes really well to this and doesn't seem to be upset with her tummy too much. So this has been great. I have what, four of them there right now and also some washcloths. So again, feeding time can get pretty messy and sometimes a wipe just won't cut it. So I'll actually just like dampen a little washcloth and help wipe off her hands, her mouth, and then toss it in the hamper once we're done. And then we have some snacks. So these are like little banana rice husk teethers. It comes in a pack of two, and she's really been enjoying these. At first she was like, Ma, what the heck? What is this? What are you giving me? But now she like understands that you can like eat it and chew it and that it's yummy. So we keep those in the banana flavor, store brand. I haven't tried these yet, but they're just like little fruit and veggie melts. You can get yogurt melts too, um, apple and pumpkin flavor. And I heard these would be a good way to introduce peanut products for your baby too. Um, haven't done it yet, but we have them on hand ready to go as she gets a little older and more comfortable with solids. And on the last shelf here, we keep like her baby oatmeal and rice cereal. So this is definitely her favorite. It's like the banana flavored baby oatmeal. It's by Gerber and it's actually really good. You mix it with formula or your breast milk and it's a good introductory food for babies when they're first starting salads. We also have the plain oatmeal and then rice cereal. So I like to mix a little oatmeal with fruit in the mornings and then do rice with some kind of veggie at nighttime. This steam sterilizer by Avent has also been really great. It's in that video I had mentioned earlier and it's just super compact, takes up little space compared to the ones you have to like plug in on your counter. It's just been a good way to help clean her bottles and other eating utensils as well. So this is our feeding setup. We have the Ingenuity 3-in-1 Baby Height Chair. Yeah, you like it, huh? We also just upgraded to um, a silicone bib. It's just so much easier to wipe down and clean rather than a cloth bib. So that's something I'd recommend um, for getting started and a placemat too. I got tired of cleaning the plastic parts so it's so much easier to just wipe down this placemat and have it ready to go for her next feeding. And of course the wipes, make sure you got them on deck because it can get messy for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you found it super duper helpful and just being inspired by a way of how to store and organize all of your baby feeding items. Of course, there are like a million and one ways to take care of a baby and you are definitely the best parent for your baby. I'm just sharing what has worked for our family today to hope give you some inspiration and ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more helpful motherhood videos and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye.